Podcasts for EdXL AS Religious Studies, Unit 1, Area B, Ethics. Article 2. Would Joseph Fletcher give Terry Pratchett the right to die? In 2007, Terry Pratchett, the author of the Discworld series, was diagnosed with a rare form of Alzheimer's disease, which will eventually rob him of his memory, hearing and literacy. In response, Pratchett, who says he would like to die in his garden at a time of his own choosing, with a glass of brandy in his hand and Thomas Tallis on his iPod, funded a Commission on Assisted Dying, which reported in January 2012. It recommended that assisted suicide should be allowed for people who are aged 18 or over with the diagnosis of terminal illness, are making a voluntary choice based on their own wishes and not influenced by those around them, have the mental capacity to make such a voluntary and informed decision, unimpaired by other mental factors such as depression. The Archbishop of Canterbury has spoken out against Pratchett's views and his commission's findings. He argues that when abortion was legalised, it led to a disrespect for unborn human life, hence the huge rise in numbers of abortions since legalisation. He believes the same would happen if euthanasia were legalised. The life of the old, ill, disabled and depressed would cease to be valued. In his book, Situation Ethics, Fletcher argued for moral decisions based on love. He defined love by four working principles. Pragmatism, which means practical ways of solving problems, one that works in practice. Relativism, which means the belief that morality is not absolute but can be decided in relation to the situation. Positivism, which means a faith position, choosing to believe that God is love. And personalism, which means the belief that people are more important than rules. If the decision would work in practice, is made in relation to the situation itself and not to any predetermined rules, is based on the belief that God is love and puts people first rather than rules, then it constitutes love. Some would argue that all four principles would be satisfied by allowing Pratchett an assisted suicide at a time of his own choosing. Fletcher's theory comprised the further six fundamental principles. First proposition. Only one thing is good, namely love, nothing else at all. Second proposition. The ruling norm of a Christian decision is love, nothing else. Third proposition. Love and justice are the same, for justice is love distributed, nothing else. Fourth proposition. Love wills the neighbour's good, whether we like him or not. Fifth proposition. Only the end justifies the means, nothing else. Sixth proposition. Love's decisions are made situationally, not prescriptively. It could be argued that love is not served by assisted suicide. In many cases, where a patient chooses to die, their loved ones oppose the decision. Should not their wishes also be respected? If justice is love distributed, who is to decide on the distribution of love between the patient who wants to die and his loved ones who want him to go on living for longer? If Christianity is true, maybe the last few days of a person's life are the most important for making their peace with God and being able to give and receive forgiveness, in which case allowing them to shorten their life would not be for their good. On the other hand, if loving someone includes respecting their autonomy, then situation ethics would seem to require that people be allowed to make this decision for themselves. Questions 1. Whom do you consider to be more persuasive, Terry Pratchett or the Archbishop of Canterbury? Why? 2. Can situation ethics provide a practical way of resolving the debate about assisted suicide? 3. Can situation ethics be said to be a Christian ethic?